Well, China warns against the U.S. plan to strengthen its missile system in Alaska in response to what Washington calls threats from North Korea. Now, a Chinese foreign ministry spokesman said that any move to increase military capacities will only intensify antagonism and will not help resolve differences. Hong Lei said China hopes the U.S. would adopt a responsible attitude and deal with the issue in a cautious manner. The remarks came after the U.S. Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel announced Friday that Washington had plans to increase by almost half the number of interceptors stationed in Alaska. Hagel said the decision was made following North Korea's threat of a preemptive nuclear attack against the United States. Well, we're going to cross over to Tokyo now. Joining us is a political commentator John McGlenn to discuss this further. Many thanks for joining us here on a Press TV, Mr. McGlenn. Now, first of all, is the threat of North Korea this serious and large, in your opinion, that the U.S. has to take such a drastic move? Well, I think. Um uh, we just uh, have to refer to the remarks of U.S. officials when they're uh, talking more authoritatively about uh, the uh, potential threats that come from a country like North Korea. So, for example, on March 12th, the director of national intelligence, uh, U.S. national intelligence, James Clapper, said in open testimony before the U.S. Congress that the intelligence, the U.S. intelligence community has long determined that uh, uh, that the uh, North Korea's nuclear capabilities are intended for deterrence, also international prestige and coercive diplomacy. So deterrence makes sense. Uh, international prestige and coercive diplomacy, I don't think that's really worked uh, from North Korea's point of view. Um, but the, the official U.S., the longstanding uh, U.S. position, and it says it's um, basing its position also on, Pyong on Pyongyang's own view that it's for deterrence. And that makes sense because um, uh, the Hagel um, press conference, the U.S. Secretary of Defense, Chuck Hagel press conference that you mentioned a moment ago, during that uh, press conference, uh, uh, also um, the uh, U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff said that uh, from the U.S. point of view, if deterrence fails, deterrence against the North Korean long-range missiles or a potential nuclear weapon, then costs would be imposed and costs would be you know, a significant military response from the United States against North Korea. So it, it's kind of a it's kind of a silly in a way a circular discussion about what kind of threat North Korea uh, poses because the ultimate U.S. position is that if 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 for some reason some missile got through to the United States, which the U.S. itself says is un North Korea is unlikely to fire, but even if it does happen, North Korea will be instantly pulverized. Right. Let's not forget that North Korea is a country which is under immense uh, sanctions from the international community, specifically springing out from the West and the U.S. Um, but looking at the way things have moved on uh, with regards to North Korea, do you think the U.S. is capitalizing on the situation to forge ahead with its militaristic agenda, as many critics point out? Well, um Basically, I think the answer to the question is yes, because um, uh, now we go back to the U.S. pivot to, um, to the Asia-Pacific, which was announced uh, um, by the Obama administration before the, uh, before the last U.S. election. So um, uh, you had uh, a quote I heard a moment ago from John Kerry, who was talking about the calculations of Syria. Well, it's the same thing that U.S. officials talk about, not necessarily the Secretary of Defense or maybe the Secretary of State, but lower-level officials. When you read their testimony, when you read their reports, uh, I'm talking about under, under Secretaries of Defense, for example, they're talking about shaping the calculations or shaping the, uh, the views of China. So uh, missile defense or uh, things like uh, uh, increasing deployments of, um, of drones, or uh, other more advanced military systems um, in, uh, in and around Japan. I mean, it's all part of shaping China's uh, military and, and political calculations, which um, U.S. officials pretty readily admit. And so I would say that uh, an increase in the um, uh, stationing of um, missile defense uh, deployments in Alaska is just part of you know, shaping China's political calculations and okay. military calculations. 
Okay, we're going to have to leave it there. John McLean, political commentator there joining us uh, from Tokyo. Many thanks indeed for your comments here on Press TV, sir.